Governor Basaki arrives for the closing ceremony of the NPAR Creative Training in Digital Technology. The training is part of the federal government's social investment programs designed to tackle youth unemployment through capacity building for socioeconomic development. The trainees have acquired knowledge in digital production to position them for the global market. What we have done is to actually deliberately design a program uh, that is geared towards harnessing and developing the untapped skills of our Nigerian youths towards the global opportunities in the digital technology world that is shaping most of our sectors today. I'd like to thank my big brother. The core of the training program is on animation, which the organizers have identified as the future of digital production. Experts from the industry urge beneficiaries to make the most of this opportunity given to them. Go back and keep learning. What the government has given to you is just the beginning of the process. What you make out of this is entirely yours. So don't shut down your laptop or sell your laptop and go back to life as you used to know. It is a tool to make a living and it is a tool to make a life. The high point on the occasion is the address from the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo. Professor Oshibajo, in his message read out by Governor Obaseki, states that the federal government is positioned to tap into the multi-billion dollar animation industry. We want to create the enabling environment to start a pipeline for local production and export of animation content so that we can position Nigeria as the pioneer hub in Africa, the total value of the global animation industry was about $259 billion in 2018. And it is projected that this will reach about $270 billion by the year 2020. According to the federal government, the plan is to train 3,000 young Nigerians in the art of digital technology. Having concluded training for the first batch, the next set of beneficiaries will come from the northern part of Nigeria.